Defense mechanisms. Immature defenses. Acting out. Directly expressing an unconscious wish or impulse, but not realizing that emotion is driving that behavior. Examples. You punch a hole through a wall instead of communicating, I am angry with you. You storm out of a room during a stressful situation instead of recognizing your emotion and responding effectively. Fantasizing. Retreating into fantasy to resolve inner and outer conflict. Examples. You imagine yourself as successful and popular instead of doing the work to succeed. You imagine a perfect relationship with someone instead of instead of making a real effort to be in one. Passive aggression. Indirectly or passively expressing aggression toward others. You avoid direct or clear communication with someone who makes you anxious, insecure. Instead of creating firm boundaries, you deliberately perform poorly at a task in hopes you will not be asked again. Somatization. Transforming negative feelings towards other into negative feelings towards self-pain, illness, and anxiety. You are going through a breakup and somaticize your grief through severe fatigue. You are extremely stressed and somaticize your anxiety through headaches or vomiting. Pathological defenses. Projection. Shifting one's own unacceptable thoughts, feelings, and actions onto another person. Examples. You feel insecure about your looks but take every opportunity to spot those flaws in others. You are cheating on your partner, but accuse your partner for cheating on you. Denial, refusing to accept or acknowledge something because it is too threatening or unpleasant. Your partner beats you when drunk but you deny that you are in any danger. You drink copious amounts of alcohol daily but deny that you have a drinking problem. Distortion, reshaping external reality to meet internal needs. You want a relationship to work so you overlook your partner's toxic traits. You want to believe your parents were not flawed so you overlook the trauma they may have caused. Splitting, dividing and polarizing beliefs, actions, people, or objects into either innately good or innately bad. You think of your partner as either a completely horrible person or an absolutely amazing person. You think of yourself as either very successful or a complete failure. Mature defenses. Altruism, constructive service to others that brings personal satisfaction and diffuses anxiety-provoking situations. You go out of your way to be helpful to someone who you feel might dislike you. You use kind words and positivity to neutralize an argument to avoid further stress. Anticipation, realistic planning for future discomfort. You tend to rehearse possible outcomes in your mind before a stress-inducing event to alleviate some of the anxiety. Humor. Overtly expressing one's unpleasant feelings or situation through humor. You are called a bad name, so you start to refer yourself with that name to diffuse the teasing. Note, this can become harmful if overused as you are accepting social injustice. Identification. Unconsciously adopting the behavior or character of another person. You started a new job, so you adopt the social norms and attitudes of your colleagues to seek acceptance from them. Sublimation. Transforming negative emotions or instincts into positive actions, behavior, or emotion. You are a highly aggressive person, so you train to become a soldier. You were turned down from a sought-after position, so you start your own company. Thought suppression. Conscious decision to delay paying attention to an emotion or need in order to cope with present reality. You intentionally suppress feelings of dislike towards a person so you can behave normally and in a socially acceptable way around them. Neurotic defenses. Displacement. Redirecting intense negative emotion towards someone or something less threatening. You are angry at your husband and take it out on your child. You are upset at your boss, B. But come home and take it out on your partner. Dissociation. Temporary drastic modification of one's personal identity or character to avoid emotional distress. You daydream a lot and are often disconnected from the here and now. You have an out-of-body experience and often feel detached from your self-identity. Intellectualization. Distancing oneself from anxiety-provoking emotion and concentrating on the intellectual components. You have been diagnosed with a terminal disease so you focus on the details of possibly fruitless medical procedures instead of grieving. Reaction formation. Converting unconscious wishes or impulses that are perceived to be dangerous into opposites. You are upset at your friend but instead behave in an overly friendly way with her. You feel guilty for not wanting a child, 
so you become extremely caring and overprotective with your child. Regression. Temporary reversion of the ego to an earlier developmental stage instead of maturely handling unacceptable impulses. You are overwhelmed with fear and anxiety so you become clingy and start exhibiting earlier childhood behavior. You are overwhelmed with anger so you throw an adult tantrum, i.e. slam a door. Repression. Seemingly unexplainable naivety. Memory lapse or lack of awareness of one's own situation and condition. You experience trauma, abuse by your parents in childhood, but have no recollection of the events. Instead, you have trouble forming relationships as an adult. Undoing. Taking back an unconscious behavior or thought that is unacceptable or hurtful. You unintentionally insult your partner, so you spend the next hour by complimenting them and doing things for them. Withdrawal, removing oneself from events, stimuli, or interactions that could remind one of painful thoughts and feelings. You are overly anxious, so you try to protect yourself by going to sleep. You feel deeply depressed, you try to protect yourself by staying in your room all day.